Hello, welcome to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. So it's been a while since I last posted on here, i.e. two years. Two years, how's it been two years, it's just mad. But you girls finally back, so you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I thought, why not kick off this channel again with another hospital vlog? So as some of you may know, I've been having tummy pains the last year and a half, and Honestly, it's just been a pain in the bum, and especially these last couple of months. Um, just continuous pain, lack of appetite, continuous cramps, and I've literally, for the past four months, I've been going to the GP non-stop and getting so many tablets that literally every week they would change, uh, which is ridiculous. And none of them seemed to help, which was unfortunate, and none of them seemed to help with the pain or make them... I don't know, just make it more manageable. So basically, I had to go private doctor and the private doctor asked me to do a colonoscopy and a gastroscopy. And basically, in, in a simple term, I would say, it's going from one way and going another way. The two ends, basically. Um, yep, I said it, I said it. Uh, <laughs> So I mean, it's gonna be interesting. I've already started the prep already, and I can tell you it's very interesting. So basically you have to start your prep a week before your procedure date is. So I started last Sunday, and it's currently Sunday, but my procedure is tomorrow, Monday. And I had to start off by stopping all my vitamins, all my supplements, um, especially I think it's all the metal vitamins you have to stop. So I take magnesium tablets and I had to stop those, but I've just stopped them all um, as a whole. And the next step was four days before your appointment, you would have to start eating more simpler foods. Um, there wasn't really a regulation on that, but I started eating more just like plain foods, like pasta and stuff like that, like cutting out some vegetables and fruits and and trying to think where else I was drinking more like water and stuff just so I could start initially clearing out my fluids and clearing out my organs um my intestines basically and just starting to get that prep already done so then two days beforehand is when you have to start eating all the white foods and it would just be so much easier and I would be more used to it with my body and stuff so like yesterday Saturday I had to eat basically the only things I could eat was toast with butter um eggs you can have it different kind of ways you could have potato but it had to have no skin um so no jacket potatoes and stuff like that you could have cheese which was good I think that was all I couldn't remember anything else but it had to be like clear fluids as well so not a lot of fizzy drinks and stuff like that and I was kind of a bummer because you couldn't eat any fruit and vegetables yesterday so it was literally like consisted of a lot of carbs <laughs> Um, so it was pretty much for me, it was like toast and scrambled eggs with cheese on. So yeah, that's what I pretty much ate yesterday. And then, of course, today is Sunday. So this is where the proper prep starts. And I can't eat anything this whole day. I've had to fast. I was able to have breakfast this morning, but I had to eat it before 8am. Because after 8am, that's when the fasting starts. So I had to wake up early this morning to have breakfast and that literally consists con <laughs> it literally consisted of toast and scrambled eggs again. So that's quite good. I mean, I'm feeling all right to be fair. Um, I'm not feeling too hungry, which is good. And I'm just having to drink loads and loads of fluids, okay? So I mean, look how huge this bottle is. I've had to drink the whole one and I'm getting there. Literally, I'm getting there, but it's such a chore and I feel like this is literally like filling me up without eating. It's strange. I feel like I'm having like a water baby instead of like a, a food baby. So that was a good thing, having breakfast this morning at 8 and it kind of filled me up like I said and to be fair with my tummy pains I haven't really been wanting to eat much anyway. I've just lost a lot of appetite and I just know that after I eat with my tummy it just always gets worse. So yeah, I mean it's not good but um, I'm I'm alright with like fasting and not eating this whole day. So in a couple of hours time I've actually got to start my laxatives and start all that prep which is going to be really interesting. I've heard a lot of, from a lot of people it's kind of gross 
<laughs> so and it's kind of disgusting so that's going to be interesting i'm going to see how that goes so like i said it's currently 4 28 okay if i show you AA. and basically i have to start my prep at six o'clock i just thought i would quickly tell you my current situation and the current process i had to go through already and um, just keep you updated but yeah, I mean, I'm kind of nervous about tomorrow. It's gonna, it's quite invasive procedure, isn't it, really? And especially that I'm getting both done at the same time. I think that kind of worries me as well, because I know a lot of people get the colonoscopy done, and I know a lot of people have got it done. But um, I just think getting both of them done at the same time, it's like, whoa, okay. And as well, I'm getting an anaesthetic done as well. Like, I'm getting an anaesthesia hopefully i mean to be fair i want it to knock me out so i just don't remember i don't know what's happening <laughs> is that bad of me but um <laughs> but yeah <laughs> that's gonna be interesting so i've got that tomorrow at 12 15 if i'm correct so that's why i've had to start my prep a bit later just because it's during the day and it's not in the morning a few moments later okay so it's six o'clock and it's time for the laxative prep now okay so we're gonna start this now which is gonna be really interesting so basically it came in this box oh if you can see it here you go so it's the movie prep i don't know my doctors gave it to me so that's what i take um <laughs> and basically there's two sachets in there one that i'm taking now and then one that i'll take later on and basically in one pack there's two sachets a and b and what i have to do is put the a and b in a jug which i'm going to get in a second and i have to put one milliliter of water in there as well which can be either cooled or room temperature so i'm going to probably do it cooled um just because i prefer things more colder and more chilled as a drink um if you can hear my doggy there's a little dog guy which i'll show in a second he's so cute and basically he's had an operation recently so he's got one of those donuts on and it's the cutest thing <laughs> honestly i don't know what to think about this like i've had a lot mixed opinion some people say it's not too bad and then some people are like proper like hate it and they couldn't do it so um this is gonna be really interesting i guess you can see my genuine reaction and see what i think of it all so that's gonna be interesting just wait and see okay so here it goes the first sachet it's like i said it's six o'clock um this is the first one of the night so let's find out how awful it is or how good it is <laughs> and put it in Does it smell nice? What? <laughs> oh jeez, no, it does not smell good. <laughs> Shots, you'll be fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh jeez. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh god. Okay. Now it's water. Okay, so it's one litre of water. Gonna drink all that. <laughs> I wanna cry. <laughs> oh my god, no. Can you put a gin a shot of gin in it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh jeez. Okay, alright. And um, it says I've gotta mix it until it's clear. Okay. So I've gotta start mixing. I'm actually crying right now because of Mix, mix. Oh jeez. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, do you want to try my drink? <laughs> oh, do you see his donut? Oh, isn't he a pretty boy? Oh my god! Hello! Hello! Hello, baby! <laughs> you don't want to drink that, come on. Oh, okay. Oh! I keep putting it off because I know it's disgusting. 
Oh no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Okay. So first things first, I've got to put a timer on um, once I start drinking for 15 minutes. Yes, I've got to drink one glass every 15 minutes, basically. So I've got to put a timer on in a second as well. Um, which just makes things worse, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so here goes nothing. Oh, there's still some moisture in it. I think I've got to shake it more. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm gonna pour my first glass. Oh. 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 Do you need a bucket? <laughs> oh, you've got the sink there, okay. It's cloudy. Okay, that's cool. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, okay. So I've just did one glass. And that's how much I've got left still to drink, okay? Bottoms up. Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna try chugging it. Oh god, I'm gonna cry. I'm thinking about it already. Oh god, I'm gonna cry. Ooh. I'm gonna try a chug, okay? glasses to get through as you can see you probably get the gist of what's happening right now and i'm kind of the comedian on the, the family right now i think i'm the entertainment of the evening milo do you agree yes he agrees see here you go all right so that's gonna be me for the next i don't know an hour or two hours how long it lasts for and then i've got another one after so that's perfect so see you in a bit. Okay, so it's currently half seven. It's been an hour and a half since I had my first laxative. And I can tell you I've had a lot of emergency runs to the toilet. Um, that's all I'm gonna tell you. I mean, everything else is too much information, but as you can imagine, mm -hmm, some stuff has happened, some serious <laughs> has happened. <laughs> get the pun get the pun okay anyway um yeah so i'm currently just like on my bed after it was horrible that drink honestly i can't believe it it's horrible and i know i have to have another one after at nine o'clock um so that's interesting but it's honestly i couldn't deal with it i kept gagging and i felt like i was gonna throw up and like throw everything up so i had to keep like trying to like jug it down and then take sips of my squash and I've had to refill it up if you can see over there so um yeah that's currently me now yes yeah, so at the moment I'm currently just editing this vlog so that can be up by Friday um because that's what I think will be my weekly video date I don't know my weekly vlog date weekly video date um every Friday for now and then see if I want to do it like two times a week but at the moment I just want to do it once a week but yeah I mean my tummy keeps rumbling it's really strange I mean I'm not really hungry which is good I just feel really full on the water and like the drinks the good thing is that 
one tip I would say is to, I'm going to try the laxatives, but putting the laxative and the jug in the fridge, so that it'll be more chilled, because I tried it with cool, like, chilled water earlier, but I didn't think it was too, like, cold, do you know what I mean? So i am put it in the fridge now, so I'll let you know how I get on with it being in the fridge. And then another thing is that I, my doctor told me that I could take some, like, sweeties, like, you know, um, like, the barley, I can't remember what they're called, the barley sweets, but they're kind of like these, but they're, these are orange ones, if you can see it, and, like, they're just, like, the hard-boiled sweets, basically, so I've literally kind of, like, put, like, two up there, that just to have in my mouth if I do feel like I want a bit of sugar. But yeah, so I'm currently editing this vlog. So it'll be up by Friday. And getting myself prepared for 9 o'clock that I have to then redo another drug. Another one litres. So which is going to be really interesting. But yeah, that's me at the moment. I'll update you how I get on with the second one. But I just thought I'd let you know how I got on with the first one. I mean, it was quite funny. My mum couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I just, I'm not looking forward to do the second one now, um, but yeah, that's me currently, I'll update you later. Okay, so it's now the next day, and it is procedure day, ah, oh my god, okay, so it's currently 11.53, 24th of May, and we're basically on the way to the hospital to get both the colonoscopy and the gastroscopy, so... Yeah, I mean, all the prep's done. I haven't eaten since 8am last morning. And I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what to think about it. I'm trying not to think about it, really. But um, I just, like, I'm trying to have my mind elsewhere. So I don't really, like, psych myself out. But, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting. Um, to be fair, I'm alright with the, an like, the anesthesia and that. Um, but I think it's just, I think, like, the positions and whether or not it's going to be uncomfortable and stuff. Okay. I'm in my room. And I'll show you the room. Just got my table. There's a TV. A mirror. AA. I've got my bed. Then I bought a dressing gown with, like, a bag and stuff in there. And... Just got this little cupboard where my like coat stuff is in. But I'm um. So yeah, that's gonna be me. I've got a cute ass window to look out from. But yeah, that's currently me right now. No dressing gown, no open back. So you know. Okay, so I had to fill out this questionnaire form. So that's all done now. Um, and just tell them all my medication and my health and all that stuff and what I suffer with. So that's all done. They told me the process and basically it's currently 1.11. At half one apparently I'm meant to be going into the theatre and getting all the um, anaesthetic and all that stuff. So I've got a while, well like 20 minutes so oh my god. And apparently I should be out by four o'clock roughly and they already asked me what I want to eat so I'm having a bagel okay but um yeah I just thought I'd update you I'm in my room chilling at the moment <laughs> living life <laughs> help me oh my god help me help me help me oh I'm so nervous honestly I'm just so nervous don't I look fashionable <laughs> this is jokes this is honestly jokes like, oh my god Okay, so I just got off the phone with my mum, because um, of course she can't come in, and it was so sweet, bless her. She calms me down a lot. I put my hair up as well. Um, I'm all ready, and I think that's what's worse, being ready and just waiting. So, yeah, that's currently me now. One eternity later. Okay, so I've just come out of the theatre. And I'm feeling a bit groggy, so please ignore me how I am. Um, yeah, I mean, I had the sensitive, and to be fair, 
that sensitive personally did nothing for me. Um, I can remember everything that happened to be fair. And I've got the cannula here in my hand, which hurt. Freaking kills. I'm currently in bed as well. To be fair, like I said, I'm just really awake and I don't feel really tired or anything with sensitives. Um, and basically, my tummy is in so much pain, honestly. It's in so much pain. But yeah, I mean, it was not too bad of a procedure. I mean, I thought it was going to be much worse, which is good, which I'm happy about. But yeah, so now I'm back in my room, just chilling, and they said I can eat in like 10 minutes or so. And I've got a bagel, so that's really interesting. So I'm probably going to eat that soon and just chill a little bit. And get myself a bit back to normal, but my tummy keeps rumbling and keeps like, I don't know, like spasming. So that's the only one thing that still hurts at the moment. Oh my god, my hair's a mess. Honestly, I just don't want to move yet. And I need to ask them to move up my bed. It's strange because my mum's not here or else I would ask her to do stuff for me. But because I haven't, I need them. I need to call them, I think, with a button somewhere. Oh yeah, here's the button. Um, so I've got to call them with a button and ask them to probably put my bed up higher. It honestly feels so good to finally eat something. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a smoked salmon bagel. I'm so good. My tummy keeps rumbling. It's like, yes, yes, finally food. <laughs> okay, so I just thought I'd give you another update while I'm still here. So it's currently 4.19 and I started eating my bagel on that around like 3.30ish. Um, so that's all finished now, but I've literally got so much gas, it's crazy. Like, my tummy keeps rumbling and it might be TMI, but basically, like, I feel like I have to, like, fart. But I'm scared I might shit myself. <laughs> so I'm trying to hold it in. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much at the moment how it is. I just keep feeling it rumbling and I keep having to go to the toilet because I'm scared. If I like try to fart, stuff is going to hang out. And as well, when I do do number two, it's literally freaking water. It's like, it's hella strange. I mean, you wouldn't imagine like water coming out of your bum. Um, so yeah, that's happening right now. So yeah, that's currently me now, but I just thought I'd keep it real with you guys because you know just in case if anyone else wants to go through this you know I tell you how it is and at least you'll be prepared I can tell you um so yeah I'm just waiting now to be discharged and for them to take out my cannula but yeah once that's done then I'll be able to go home I'm still a bit peckish so but I'll probably wait a bit for a bit later to get something to eat I really want to Nando's so I think that's what I might be having for dinner um, but yeah, then I'll update you once I get home with what happened and the procedure and give you all the information. But yeah, it's been a hell of a ride. Okay, so I'm finally back home. It is currently 8.50pm and I just thought I would tell you the whole process of me at the hospital and the whole process of today basically. Just in case if anyone else is going through the same thing. Just so you have a general idea of what's how it, what how it works and what happens. So basically, I arrived at the hospital at twelve thirty, and basically they called me and said you can come in. So I had to go in from side entrance because it's basically like two sections of the hospital, and I had to put a mask on and sanitize my hands. And basically, the lady brought me straight up to a room and basically this room was going to be my room for the rest of the day and that's where my bed was that is where i was able to get changed and all that stuff um sadly my mum couldn't come in uh of course due to covid and stuff which wasn't really annoying um as i really wanted her to be there just because i have some issues sometimes fainting when i do um the can you learn stuff but um yeah she couldn't come in sadly but it was me, so I mean they were really lovely and stuff, so I got by fine. So once they brought me in the room, 
I had to fill out loads of questionnaires and fill out forms about my medication and my medical history and all my allergies and stuff like that so they asked like so many questions and then basically they told me I had to get changed into the hospital gown and basically put my dressing gown on top of it and put my sliders on so definitely bring that with you if you're getting this procedure done and they told me I had to wait until half one for the doctors then to come to come collect me to bring me to the theatre so I pretty much was just waiting around as you can see in the videos just taking photo like videos and and chilling and phoning my mum because I was really nervous and just waiting until half one also then the doctor came in as well and he told me the whole process and how it's gonna go and basically that it was gonna be a sedation not a local anaesthetic and that there was a difference between the two and that it would make me a bit sleepy but not like completely um for asleep if that makes sense i wouldn't be completely out of it and so he just explained that all to me and just told me how it's all gonna go and roll and how long the process was gonna take which was in the end like roughly 30 45 minutes and then what time he said that i would probably leave which in the end turned out to be longer than he anticipated. Yeah, so after I waited, finally the doctor came in and said, okay, Deborah, are you ready? And I was like, no, but yeah, I'll come. And basically they bought my bed and I was walking with my dressing gown all the way to the theater. Once I got to the theater, they basically laid me down on my back and basically asked me loads of different other medical questions again and while they were doing that they placed a cannula in my hand and surprisingly I didn't pass out <laughs> so that's good for me um, I was really pleased about that and then I just told them all my medical history they made sure it was Deborah and all that um, <laughs> so once they placed a cannula in my hand they basically put some like water first in my like veins which is really strange and then the doctor was like, okay, now we're gonna put the sedative in. So it was like literally like two small little bottles that he put in and straight away I felt like a weird vibe go through my veins. And then I felt a bit sleepy, but I was still kind of awake and I still kind of knew what was happening. And then they told me to lie on my left hand side. And then they said, now we're gonna do the gastroscopy. So they told me to go on my side, on my left hand side, and I was kind of at this point, I was a bit like sleepy, a bit kind of like discombobulated, and they placed like this plastic thing around my mouth to keep it opened, and what they did was they sprayed this um, mouth spray in my mouth to basically numb my throat and all that, and basically I just felt like I couldn't really swallow anything, like I had a ball in my throat, and that was when they put like, the plastic over me and stuff. And then, I can't, it was kind of hazy at this point, but they basically put the camera down, and yeah, I mean, to be fair, the gastroscopy, I can't remember too well, but I didn't really feel anything, it wasn't that bad, I thought it was going to be much worse, and it was, and I didn't really gag or anything, so that was good. So yeah, once they finished with that, and once, I don't know how long that took, um, they took it out, and they were like, okay, so now we'll do the colonoscopy, so they moved my bed around, and they told me, okay, so lay flat, back, lay flat on your back again. And they told me to raise my legs up. And they're like, okay, so now we're going to put it in. And yeah, it was kind of weird because at this point I was getting more awake and I kind of understood what was happening. And it was strange because he put it in and I mean, it, it, it became really uncomfortable straight away. Um... And because I was so awake as well, I could see everything that was happening on the TV screen, which showed like where the camera was going. So it was really weird seeing my insides while I was awake, while they were doing it. And when they were doing like all the curves and going through all the intestines, um, I felt really sharp pains and it felt really uncomfortable. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I think the colonoscopy was the worst one. Loads of really sharp pains. And then as well, um, the doctor was taking biopsies at the same time as well. So I felt loads of like really like horrible pinches and it felt like I was having like cramps. So it was really strange. And then after a while then he told me to go on my side again and he carried on doing it and finding all these different places. But it was mad because I was really awake and I knew what was happening 
but I don't know it's just it's such a strange feeling and it does hurt I'm not like I know <laughs> I'm not really selling it but I want to be honest and it was really uncomfortable and I did feel it so yeah after a while after me looking at what was happening and then taking all the biopsies and all looking around the camera and taking photos and stuff then it was like, okay now you're done and she, as soon as you took it out I felt like I just <laughs> Um, I just felt like, I was like, oh god, this is so awkward, just like, how awkward is this, the doctor, and you know, they can see everything, I was like, oh god, and yeah, I mean, surprisingly, the nurses and the doctors were really lovely, and they were really talking me through, and because I was quite awake, they like, gave me some gas and air as well, that I had a mask on, which kind of cool, like, calmed me down, and I was just kind of breathing in and out, in and out, and I mean, I had a nurse right next to me explaining it to me and like saying just take deep breaths and talking to me about like through while it was happening so i mean it was really lovely and they are like they're there to help you in the end so i mean you'll get through it easily but it's, it is uncomfortable so yeah so once the whole process finished they basically wheeled me into recovery room and in the recovery room i was pretty much awake <coughs> my god my throat um yeah, so I was pretty much awake in the recovery room and they were checking like all my vitals and all my oxygen and all that stuff and everything was pretty normal and then shortly after, like around 20 minutes, I was in the recovery room re recovery room talking to like the ladies and the nurses um, they then wheeled me back into my room um, which was like around 3 o'clock and then that's when I started recording the videos they told me to lie on my side because I just felt so gassy <laughs> literally like my tummy was rumbling so much like i felt like it bubbling inside it was so weird um and i felt like i had to do so much air that i was like no i'm not doing this in front of everyone uh, <laughs> so yeah they brought me back into the room and then they're like okay so we're gonna give you like 15 minutes and then we'll give you food and drinks so i was just there on my side like rubbing my tummy um because i had loads of cramps and stuff and after like 50 minutes came up and then they bought the food which was really nice and it was so good to eat something i was literally so hungry yeah so they bought the food i ate the food i had the drink and then <laughs> it was kind of funny because i felt like i had to do a lot of farts but i know this is tmi by the way i um i feel like i had to do a lot of farts but i just was so scared i didn't know whether or not i was gonna like poo like poop myself or if it was just gonna be a fart so i was so scared literally i was like oh god no so i kept running to the toilet i was like oh no what's gonna happen um <laughs> so yeah i mean it's it's such an interesting like experience honestly and it's kind of funny now that i'm laughing about it but it's dreadful um i don't want to do it again <laughs> yeah so after a while i was just laying in the bed chilling still drinking my tea talking calling my parents and all that stuff and the doctor then came in and he gave me um the paperwork from the colonoscopy and the gastroscopy of some photos that he took and then as well the biopsies and it's currently downstairs i've got to bring it up and he said that there seems to be no abnormalities or nothing that really sticked out but he has to wait two weeks for the biopsies to go like process and for him to investigate more on it so he wasn't really quite sure what to tell me um so i'm not really sure what, what really is causing my tummy aches which is annoying so i have to wait two weeks but i've got another appointment like, in a two weeks time to find out but yeah i mean once the doctor came i just carried on waiting there and i think it was like around yeah like five ish that then a nurse came in to take out my cannula and it's currently like quite bruised if you can see it yeah so she came to take my cannula out and then just gave me all the like like all the exiting papers if that makes sense so like giving me all the papers before i leave and then giving me the doctor's appointment so i mean once all that happened i was able to leave and that was around five o'clock so in the end i was there for like five and a half hours 
but honestly they treated me so lovely if i had any question they would come like they literally ran and help me out with anything i had i walked downstairs i went to my mum which was waiting in the car and before we went home we stopped at nando's just because i was still really hungry from the procedure and like i said i haven't eaten in the last 28 hours so i was like mom can we get nando's <laughs> and we stopped at nando's and yes yeah, so i was fairly hungry at that and yeah, I've just kind of been like chilling at home, you know. I'm still getting a lot of like spasms in my tummy and it feels like contractions, it's really weird. But yeah, I mean, I'm feeling much better than I was beforehand when I was at the hospital, but I've still got a lot of an upset tummy. So now I just gotta wait for the doctor appointment, which will be in two weeks time, just because the doctor has to finalize it and go over the biopsies. Um, to finalise what basically I'm suffering with and what is my problem and what's causing it and then for then for me to direct in what path I have to go in if it's Crohn's disease or if it's IBS or IBD um, or because another thing is I might have ulcers in my tummy but I'm not exactly sure what it is so um, yeah the doctor just said that nothing really stood out but he has to do more investigation in it and he'll let me know in two weeks time so now i've just gotta wait so yeah i really hope this video has helped you out if you're getting this procedure done or if you're getting both at the same time like i did and helps you just understand more in depth what's going to happen for you and your experience and the prep and all the stuff that gets into it and if not i hope this was a laugh for you you know get to see me having the best time of my life this past couple of weeks so yeah hopefully this is not too long i'm gonna try cut it out and just put the most important bits in it but yeah thank you so so much for watching and you gotta subscribe come on you gotta help me get to 100 followers please 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 get me to 100 followers i'm waiting turn that subscribe button to subscribe i'm waiting come on <laughs> okay also if you do have any questions about the procedure or if you do have any queries that you want me to answer just comment them down below and i will answer them as soon as i can um yeah just because especially now that i've done it i can give you some tips or any extra advice on what to do anyway thank you so so much for watching and i will see you next week with a brand new video bye